Rob Ford, Mayor of Toronto, ladies and gentlemen, we got him, kind of. Well, it turns out uh, there's now an investigation by the police that has been revealed, okay? They've been doing it for a while. And yeah, the police chief says uh, all the things you'd read about in the papers, pretty much true. Yeah. We've got a lot of surveillance of him uh, with known drug dealers. He is often uh, spotted with them, and then the guys will put an envelope or a package in his car and walk away. Uh, they, they met in parking lots. They met in the woods. That was fun. They apparently had a lot to drink in an hour and maybe some other things. But it, the upshot of all this is no charges. Now, no charges for the mayor. Everybody else involved, <laughs> devastated. Okay, so um, as we look through here, uh, the different things. First of all, we find out that uh, the custody of the mayor's friend, Alexander Lisi, um, that has commenced. That, that's already happened. And they say he's uh, the drug dealer giving uh, Mayor Ford the drugs. It's interesting how he is charged with extortion and accused of uh, extortive efforts to retrieve a recording. That's interesting. But Ford is not charged. So if you remember the famous picture of Ford caught with the uh, three guys and he's hitting the crack pipe and, and that's what started this whole mess, right? One of the guys in the pictures is dead, right? And there's that picture. Two of them are already in jail. Magically, the only guy not in jail is a mayor. Even though now the cops say it does appear he was doing what reporters said he was doing, which was hitting the crack pipe, right? Well, look, I can understand, uh, you know, look, some of these guys like Alexander Lisi have a long, uh, you know, rap sheet, so it's easier to pin it on them, uh, at the different things. And maybe, who knows, maybe they'll get them to talk about Ford, and we'll see about that, right? Uh, but it seems like everybody around him is in jail except for him, and that's pretty convenient so far. Now, it, oh, are Lisi and, and Ford definitely correct, connected? Well, this gives you a, a sense of what might have happened. Uh, the court files say that on March 28th of 2013, when one of the guys that was in the picture, Anthony Smith, was killed, Lisi and Mayor Ford spoke seven times. Mm, that looks incredibly suspicious. By the way, in March, that same March, uh, they spoke 44 times overall. So they're definitely connected in one way or another. Now, of course, you need to build a case. I understand that. I don't know if they're ever going to. But uh, did Ford back Lisi? Did that happen? Well, he once wrote him a recommendation a after he had, was uh, alleged to have committed an assault. He said that Lisi showed tact and diplomacy. Uh, maybe that was tact and diplomacy as he was kicking somebody's ass. Anyway, and that he was an exemplary member of my campaign team. Exemplary. All right, fascinating. Uh, now, look, he's uh, a little bothered by all these reports, obviously. And the reporters showed up at his house. They're coming to his house. They're coming to his house. And they came, and he, was, he just had picked up his cleaners, it appears, uh, which he's going to have to go back to the cleaners for, as you'll see later in the video. Uh, but he did not take any of this kindly. Get off my driveway, please. What can you tell us about? Get off my okay. That's fine. I can't get off my driveway. A focus of the police. Guys, can you get off my driveway, please? Sandra Lisi. Sorry, get off my driveway, what please. Can you, tell can you get off my driveway, Toronto? please? What can you tell the can people of Toronto about your involvement? Can you get off my driveway, please? Can you get off my driveway? Can you get off my property, please? Can you get off my property? Can you get off my property? I'm leaving. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Get off my property. Thank you. We're off your property. Thank you very much. What don't you understand? Get off the property, partner. Get off me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you the focus of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What were you telling about Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't believe he was actually thanking them. He didn't seem very thankful. When you're in the middle of a massive controversy like this, I wouldn't really lose my shit towards the reporters like that. I don't think it's really a good way to go. It's not really helping your cause. And then he drops a shirt at some point. He's like, Get off my property! Get off my property! <laughs> uh, by the way, the investigators have him connected to another property, 15 Windsor Road, uh, where uh, apparently, uh, in an investigation called Project Traveler, uh, surveillance showed uh, that to be the trap house uh, that is now 
uh, that was the backdrop for that infamous photo that you saw where Mayor Ford was with uh, the three other guys, two of them who were uh, are in jail and one who is now dead. And by the way, the assault uh, that Lisi had committed that uh, uh, Mayor Ford had given him glowing recommendations for it, well, to be a little slightly more accurate, uh, it was actually because he was threatening to kill his former girlfriend. Good at tact and diplomacy. Ha <laughs> ha.